Got a couple of things out here. Um, so fortunately, it is raining. Pretty nice little lounge chair. So I don't have high hopes for today. What the heck is that? Like yams or something? There's a fake tree. Anything inside? Not looking like it. I see something. Even if this thing wasn't all bashed in, I would not even attempt to take it. Big old TV. Well, there's a picture in there. Oh, that's some dirty, dirty clothes. And it looks like a TV stand or something, maybe. There's a stool. Unfortunately, this stuff is going to be soaking, soaking wet. Lauren and I are coming back from a trip. Man, I should probably take that. Um, it's inside the dumpster, so it's not getting wet. Maybe somebody will come and grab that thing. I just don't have any use for it. And it's kind of pictures like this doesn't sell for us. So, what I was saying was, we're just coming back from a trip. It was our anniversary. Well, actually, today's our anniversary. But we spent the weekend. Uh, Lauren's parents were gracious enough. They they booked us a hotel for the weekend, and they watched Lucas. And uh, we went and spent the weekend just at a hotel, went and just hung hung out in a place we'd never been before. Just had a good weekend out of it. It's been kind of a, a rainy type weekend though for us. It's all in here. We went out and played a couple rounds of disc golf. Uh, ate dinner at some places well so <laughs> we had plans on going out and eating somewhere that we'd never been before um, well a type of food that we never uh, had never eaten before we had planned on going and grabbing some Indian food which I've never had up before I don't think so we were gonna go and we looked around found the place the ratings were kind of low on the restaurant, so Lauren went with her go-to, which is Olive Garden. We just had Olive Garden one night. Pretty, pretty awesome little weekend, though. All right, last one in this complex. So we're come actually coming home from our little trip. Had no real intentions of making a video, especially with it raining. But, I haven't got to make one in a while. There's a rug. It's not a bad rug. Um, I haven't got to make one a video in a while. So I told Lauren, you know, even though it's raining, let's get out there and just, we're on the way anyway. Let's just see if we can find anything. Definitely won't be taking anything that's outside. Not the dumpsters. But might get lucky and find some stuff inside. Can't go that way. We're still a little ways out from our uh, from our house, probably another hour away from home. But sun's starting to come out a little bit. Maybe it'll dry up as we go. So I was telling everybody about our, our trip, our weekend. Did you have fun? Yeah. Nice little getaway. Yeah. So that leads me to the question for the video. Um, how long, so I'm trying to buckle up here. How long have you and your significant other been together? Even if you're not married. Like how long have you been together with uh, with your partner? Um, 
Lauren and I have been married now today as of the 16th of October one year been married one year we've been together seven, seven and, a half. and a half it took me a while to pop the question but I did it and uh, here we are a year later so that's just the question for the video how long have all of you guys been uh, married or just been together and I know unfortunate circumstances probably happen but um, if your significant other has passed away how long would it have been today just, just curious and seeing how long everybody's been together maybe some give us some goals for us we uh, our parents have both been married about the same amount of time mine have been uh, married I think since I was like one or two so like a little bit 30 years and yours about the same huh I don't know the exact same the exact numbers I'll try to put it up on the screen if I remember 89 yeah, right Yours got married in 89. I think yours did too. Probably around that. I, I don't know. So, on to the next. Alright, we're going to switch gears here. Uh, everything is very wet. And all the dumpsters that we check, um, even the ones that we like normally check, we've, we've been to and everything is just soaking wet. And there just hasn't been, I haven't noticed anything that's just worth like digging around in. And like I said, everything's just sopping wet. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna shift gears and I'm gonna show you guys a few of the things that we picked up while we were on our trip. And also, um, I wanna show you guys something else that we did for Lucas. So that's what we're gonna do for the rest of the video. If you wanna hang out with us, that's awesome. If not, we'll see you next time. But for those of you who wanna hang out, let's go do that. All right, I lied. We're not going home just yet. We're gonna stop in at a Goodwill before we head back to the house and yes for those of you who probably was asking i did change shirts my other one got it was just soaking wet so jumped in the back grabbed a clean shirt dry shirt that's that's what happened mm -hmm. go find something cool all right so we are back home there's a little miss lauren we got a little mess to clean up <laughs> um just want to show you guys a few things that we did get while we were out we paid $30 for everything that you're about to see. Um, I wouldn't say that anything here is like super crazy valuable, but we are going to get some a lot of fun out of a few of these things. Um, let's see here. I'm just pulling a few of these items out of these bags. Lauren picked up these two watches. Don't know a whole lot about watches, but... She did find these, and like I said, a lot of this stuff was so cheap that it was just kind of hard to hard to pass up on it. There's the other thing. So there's those. Um, we found all of these games, and me and Lauren like to play games like uh, board games and stuff like that. And we found all these, and they're like so. There's Cards Against Humanity. There's this like red flag. So I, I don't know anything about these. But I have played this before. It's it's a lot of fun. Kind of vulgar, but it's still a lot of fun. And there was these. I just assumed that they were like card games, but it's like tarot cards <laughs> or something like that. I don't know anything about those. Honestly, if anybody would like these, let me know. I don't know if we're going to keep them or not, but the rest of these are just like some kind of card games. And I don't know. It could be, could be fun. Lauren also found these from 1993. Three. They're just some unopened Tom and Jerry packs. Kind of cool. And then she also spotted this really cool Ed Hardy belt. Um, pretty neat. Ed Hardy stuff was real popular back in like the early to mid 2000s. And um, it's, I guess, making a comeback or something. I'm not sure. But that's an older belt. And then I found... This it was kind of cool. It was in a, in a in a bin. I picked it up, and the guy said, "If you want that, you can have it. It's about to go to donation." It's an old um, Nine, early nineties juniors best. Juniors like Girl Scouts. 
just I just thought it was cool all the patches and stuff. I, I figured somebody out there may want this. So kind of cool. Ton of patches. And the other thing here, this backpack pulled up to yard sale. Lady had this uh, backpack with these games in it. Nothing, nothing crazy. There's, it's all racing games. As you see there, and then one Tony Hawk. Um, no controller. Inside here though, there is a couple of wires. So there's another game. Oh, it's a movie. A couple of games. The power cord. And then the Xbox One. So really cool, um, cool find there. We're gonna give if this thing works. And I'm about to test it out here in a minute. If this thing works, um, this is gonna go to my dad. The other day, where's that game at? Uh, no. I handed it to you. It's right behind you. My dad was asking me. He he played a game a long time ago. He only has an Xbox 360. And he asked uh, if I knew. If, if there was a way he could play Red Dead Redemption 2. So, yeah, but it's only on the Xbox One. He said, oh, man, you know, I'd, I'd really like to play that game. That was like two days before we left for our trip, before I found this. And I actually have a copy of Red Dead Redemption 2. So if this thing works, it's going to my dad. I'll have to find a controller and an HDMI cable. But, Which we have plenty of. Them. Yeah, we do have them. <laughs> Don't have a, a, an abundance of controllers, but we have a bunch of HDMI cables, so that's not a problem. But we'll get with to, onto this here in a second, and I'll let you guys know if it works. All right, it's hooked up, and it's updating. There's a cow in Lucas's room. It sounds like. <laughs> um, so there's that. So it does work here in a second. Well, I say a second. It'll be a second <laughs> for you guys, but it'll be a couple hours. Couple hours maybe for us for this thing to update. Um. We'll let you, uh, I'll let you know, like, if it reads a disc and everything, but so far, so good. All right, so it's a work in progress. It's still a little messy, but, uh, also Lucas was at school, or he's at school now, so, otherwise I'd try to show you guys, uh, his reaction. I will try to get it on camera, though, of his new updated room. Um, over here, this shelf, so this is something I still gotta organize. This is some of his stuff, but this is mostly his corner as it goes into his room but if you remember before his little chest was over there it took away his desk put the chest there and got him a brand new bed okay so it's not brand new but it is for us so we still got to do some things to it um, and I'll show you here in a second this is one of the things I was saying still a work in progress Gotta clean all that up. I just kind of moved it in the corner and set his ladder up. Hung up his WWE belts. I'm sure he's gonna want to change a lot of this stuff around when he gets home. But I just kind of threw the bed in while he was at school. Did away with his dresser and his desk and raised his bed up. So now he has a lot of extra floor space. All his clothes are going in there. As you can see, he's got a desk there. Um, for those of you who follow the video, saw it last video, we found that computer monitor. Um, here's one of the things that we got to do. So I got this for bed from uh, one of my best friends, actually my very best friend. Um, this belonged to his daughters, and they were girls, obviously, and it was pink. So we'll have to paint that. I didn't have any paint on hand, otherwise I would have did it while he was gone at school, but I think he'll still love it. There's also a piece that goes here, you know, that starts at the wall and comes out. I do believe that these, um, this desk could have been rotated around. I just wanted it to be on the inside um, because the other bed goes like right in here. So that shelf may even supposed to be turned around. I'm not sure, but either way, pretty awesome. Hope he likes it. He's been saying he wants a bunk bed, so I haven't even climbed up. Let me check the ladder, give it the the dad test. That's holding me up, so got to make his bed here in a minute. That's his room. Put him some hooks up so he can hang his jackets up. 
This is another one of the works in progress, cleaning out this closet and organizing this shelf. So it's got his shoes down there, some bins with toys in it, whole shelf of just stuffed animals, board games, and then a couple of like RC trucks up there. Of course, his American flag. Anyway, that's it. Close that so we can keep the heat down in here. Okay, go check it out. Uh, what the what? What the what? I said what the what? Be careful with the ceiling fan. Before you climb up there, get down real quick. Come here, go look inside here. Go inside this cave. Is this what I always wanted? I think so. Yeah. What is that? Don't. No, it's not a computer. Don't think that. It's a. It's a monitor. But I just put it in there. Okay. It doesn't even turn on right now. Got a couple of your things down there. Look, we do have to paint that because it's pink. Yeah. Unless you just like pink. Let's see, got rid of your dresser. Look, all your clothes are in here. You got undies and socks, your shirts. Over there's your desk. It's just some stuff. Oh, oh, That's it. Look at your belt. Yeah, but how are you gonna get them down when we want to play with it? I'll just, I'll pull, I'll pull them down for you. All right, and then for those of you guys who want to know, we finally, 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 look, there's X, Lukey's Xbox. We finally, finally got his sound to work. See? It took me <laughs> a while. I bought an uh, HDMI to VGA input, which in reality, I bought an HDMI to DVI input. Yep. Then that didn't work. Then we bought a... VGA to HD or some other converter don't even <laughs> so anyway after four different purchases of small little tiny parts at about six dollars a piece over the past week and a half I finally got it to work and we finally have sound what do you think kid also if you're wondering what game I'm playing I'm playing Goat Simulator you are? yeah <laughs> are you sitting too close to that TV? Scoot back. Scoot your chairs back. Oh, there you go. I think we need to get you like a bean bag or something in here. Oh, uh, he taught. He showed Grandma what he wanted yesterday. Okay. Yeah, I also got some Legos. Pretty cool little setup you got in there, buddy. Yeah. We need to get you some lights down there, like you got above your bed. That'd be cool. Yeah. <laughs>